beautiful amazing lovely viewers how are we doing welcome back to another episode of yambala africa today today we are in an interesting part of africa if you can guess by the description what i'm wearing will tell you where we are today and we are in a part of africa that is in east africa where we have the highest mountain in africa if you know the place then you know exactly where we are we are with the chaga people today we are in kilimanjaro with the chaga people hamjambo watazamaji tunafurai sana kuwa na nyie leo na waletea mavazi ya kitamaduni ya wachaga yeah i learned a bit while i was there so the Chaga people have the same dress code for the males and the females. They dress just the same. The only thing that changes is that the females have accessories that the males do not adorn themselves with. So the Chaga people, just like me today, wear a wrapper which is called Kanga in Swahili, which is the native language for all Tanzanians. They wrap a kanga around the waist and then on top of the kanga they wear a top that they tuck into the kanga and on top of all that they wear another kanga over their shoulders and they make a knot in the middle to cover themselves with. Yeah, the Chaga people barely leave their bodies outside, no part of their body literally is visible because they drape themselves with the kanga up here and then the kanga down there that is up to the bottom, both men and women all the same. What changes now is that the women usually like to wear these beads and necklaces around their necks that are multi-colored, sometimes depending on the clothes that they're wearing and other times just a thousand colors in there but they end up looking beautiful. Be with me as we go to another part in Africa. That was the Chaga traditional dress code. Asanteni sana watazamaji. See you next time. <laughs> 